Hi everyone, it's Kelly Jo. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be making some waffles because one, why not? Two, I am super hungry. I've barely eaten anything today. And number three, what was number three? Oh yeah, <laughs> I am procrastinating doing my homework. So yeah, I don't feel like doing it right now. So we're just gonna push that off to the side and have some fun making waffles today. I feel kind of bad filming this video without my friend Abby. We do a lot of baking together, so I'm sorry that she can't be here, but we will bake together once again and we will make a video about it. So yeah, I haven't made waffles for a little while and I kind of miss doing it and they taste really good. So that's also why we're doing this. I have this little tiny waffle maker. I got from Walmart because Walmart's amazing. And it also comes with its own little recipe book, which is fun. So we're gonna pick out a recipe to do because there's quite a few types of waffles you can make. I'm pretty sure I've made all of these already before. Like there's Belgian waffles, oatmeal waffles, chocolate waffles, cinnamon waffles, pumpkin waffles, blueberry waffles, and whole wheat waffles. I am feeling like making apple cinnamon waffles. I've made them once before and they are definitely my favorite. And I'm pretty sure we have apples left. Let me check. Yes, we have our apples, so we're doing this one. Ruby's looking at me really weird because I'm just talking to my phone. Are you not gonna look at the camera? No. She's like, you're weird. Why am I this excited for waffles? I don't know, but I'm really excited. Let's get all of our ingredients. Okay, um, wow, I forgot how many ingredients you need for this recipe, but that's okay. We have all that we need. I don't really know where to set this up at so you can see everything. All right, let's get started. <laughs> First step, whisk flour, white sugar, brown sugar, cinnamon, baking powder, and salt together in a bowl until no lumps remain. So, yeah. I always make such a huge mess when it comes to flour and just baking and cooking in general. I just spilled it everywhere. So yeah, we'll see how messy I get with this. Now we are going to pour the milk, vegetable oil, and vanilla extract into the flour mixture and stir until combined. This doesn't look very appetizing now, but I promise it will. I love the smell of vanilla. I could just sit here and smell this all day. <laughs> This part always stresses me out. <laughs> oh boy, okay. I almost just screwed everything up. Okay. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. the apples. The apples aren't really part of the cinnamon waffle recipe, but it's just kind of something I added to it to make it better. You definitely don't have to add apples if you don't want to, but I think it's just 10 times better. So yeah, I can't really remember if I just use one or two. I don't know. We're just going to cut these up and put them in the mixture. I've 
pretty much cleaned up the big mess that I made. <laughs> and I have my mixture ready and my little waffle maker heating up there. So if I remember right, I think this recipe makes like 12 waffles or so. I actually ended up using two apples because I like having apples in my waffles a lot. So it just kind of depends, you know, how much apple you want in your waffles. And since it's such a small waffle maker, it does kind of take a while, but you know, it's worth it. Well, I think we're out of cooking spray. So, um, we're gonna improvise. <laughs> we're just gonna see how this one does first. <laughs> I tend to put way too much batter in too, so we're probably gonna run into that problem again. Let's see how it's doing. Okay, that's pretty good. You know, it is kind of shaped a little weird, but there's nothing wrong with that as long as it still tastes good. I'm gonna make another one and I think I'm going to use butter to try and not make them stick since we are out of cooking spray. Ah, I dropped it in the mixture, no! Ooh. Um, okay, so we kind of have a little problem. This one is stuck. That hurt my finger. <laughs> So excited to eat these. <laughs> this is what happens when you try to get a good thumbnail. Okay, now I'm actually gonna eat this. <laughs> Here we go. Mm hmm. These are good. Kind of messy because I probably put way too much maple syrup on them. The apples definitely make them better, so just saying you should probably add them if you make these. <laughs> I think I'm going to sit here and finish eating these and finish making all the rest of the waffles, but I think I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this little cooking, baking video. I don't really know what to call it. I will have the recipe down in the description below if you wanna try and make these yourself, which like I said, definitely recommend making them with the apples. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe to my channel. I feel kind of bad for not giving Ruby some of this because she's over there pouting in the living room. She'll be okay. I'll see you all next time. Bye.